Hello everybody. Umesh was on a tiled floor. He went three places, one in one step in front. Then turned right in a right angle and moved four places on the right side. Sushma asked Umesh, "Though you have walked total seven places, you are not that far from the original point." Umesh measured the steps from the original point to the final point. and the distance was 5 places instantly both remembered that there is a theorem pythagoras theorem related to the right angled triangles what is the exact theorem when was it discovered for what purpose let us try to answer these questions pythagoras theorem in a right angled triangle abc with right angle at c with sides a b and c c is the length of the hypotenuse we have a square plus b square equal to c square this is a well known theorem most people who have once studied in school are familiar with pythagoras theorem at least everyone remembers that there was a theorem named pythagoras theorem it is a result known for at least 2400 years In Greece Pythagoras was a mathematician who stated the theorem in Egypt as well as in India the result was known in Buddhayan's Shulb Sutra book this result is stated and used extensively in Greece Egypt and India it was used to find the area of a land and also to find out the length of an edge how is the theorem related with the area If we have a square of side A, B, and C, their areas are respectively A square, B square, C square. The sum of the areas of the squares on the sides of the right-angled triangle is equal to the area of the square on the diagonal. There are quite a few proofs of this beautiful theorem. The proof found in the works of Bhaskar Acharya is given below. The triangle is shown in blue. The two triangles are joined perfectly on the diagonals to make a rectangle of sides AB and area AB. The squares on the sides are attached at a corner of both and in a way shown in the figure 2. By putting the rectangles in the blank spaces, we form a square of the side A plus B. In the adjoining figure square of side a plus b is formed by the square on the diagonal and four triangles figure 3 proof a plus b bracket square is equal to four triangles plus a square plus b square which is equal to four triangles plus c square this gives you the relation a square plus b square equal to c square what an intuitive way of proving the result look at the figure 3 only and observe how the triangles and the square form a bigger square if we know the expression for a plus b bracket square one gets another proof of the theorem what an interesting theorem it is in the first example we got a right angled triangle with all sides with natural numbers can we have more such triangles yes 6 8 and 10 9 12 and 15 the triangles formed by multiplying the sides of the triangle 3 4 and 5 however there are other triplets which give right angled triangle with these sides a few are 5 12 13 that is 25 plus 144 gives 169 similarly 8 15 17 64 plus 225 gives 289 Let us solve a few examples using the theorem. Jeevan takes the vest from the kitchen and goes to the garden and puts it in the pit. How much distance he walks between kitchen to garden pit? There is a 6.5 meter long ladder. Mahesh puts ladder at the window bottom 6 meter above the ground. How much away from the wall is the ladder on the ground? we have seen some right angled triangles with all the sides integers such as 3 4 5 
5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17 and so on. These are called Pythagorean triplets. If we have a Pythagorean triplet, then multiplying each integer of the triplet by same natural number gives a Pythagorean triplet. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 16, 20. 5, 12, 13, 10, 24, 26, 25, 60, 65. As we will keep studying mathematics, physics, chemistry, we will come across Pythagoras or Budhayan theorem.